it better the first time when it was called Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm Nick Gregorio, welcome to The Bar and the Stars. Today we're talking the new Guardians 2 teaser and the MCU. Guys, I wanna know, are you buying or selling Guardians 2 based on the new teaser trailer? Steven, let's start with you. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm buying. I, I love the first one. Maybe I'm renting, I'm not sure. That's good, that's cute. What about you, Cameron? I am buying because I am a mindless consumer and I'm damn proud of it. Ooh, got real heady with it. How about you, Phil? <laughs> I'm cautiously buying because <laughs> when the first one came out in 2014, and it was dope then, is, are they going to evolve it or is it just going to be the same movie? Like we're you said, all some buying. cautious, some cautious, man. We're all buying. F that teaser. It was weak. It was weak. But well, all weak. things considered, it was a weak teaser. Yeah. Except for it Baby was, Groot. Baby Groot. Baby I mean, Groot. Stop. Like, that, that's basic nerd talk. I don't want to hear anything about Baby of, Groot. At the end of the trailer, though, I'm like, ah! Yeah, but it's a good discussion. Is Groot the same Groot, or is he a seed from another Groot? So is he a different Groot? Did your guys cycle sync up when we got at the bar? So I, I guess the question <laughs> is like, what did you guys want out of it? Like, they're obviously not going to show you the, the best and the biggest parts. When you say it's weak, Nick, what would have done to blow your Italian brains out? Why did I have be Italian brains? <laughs> what would blow like your Italian brains like out? Like Fusilli, all the... No, this one... <laughs> so the teaser... We all know that like teaser trailers are fan service, right? They're for right. The, the diehard, the hardcore. Something more than just a bunch of... The shot... They just, it could have looked shots flips. from the original... Guardians of the Galaxy. I feel, I feel like they just got a 5D and they went around the set. Okay, let's, and not, they were like, let's not get crazy here, Steven. It's <laughs> and still, they were just like, they, how about this? They took, they took an iPhone and then they were just like, hey, what's up? Yeah, here's a good, all right, you can just do that thing. All right, done. And that's all it was. I would have liked to see a teaser was, of yeah. them. They did some overcrank shots. Yeah. Too. I would like to see something having to do with, you know, uh, 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 Peter Quill trying to figure out his parentage. Like something as to where that's going to take them, just a little bit. I think the most successful teasers are ones that are kind of based on a mystery or a little bit of a cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. Like if it was a moment, instead of this, this was almost like just glamour shots of them in the yeah. movie, which we knew we were going to get. Yeah. Baby Groot, of course, so every fake nerd girl can be like, yay, I love Baby Groot! Groot! What about you, Phil? I mean, I hate a teaser. I hate a reveal. I hate the Red Dead fucking two thing they did. <laughs> it's a picture of a thing that'll be out in nine years and four of you will be dead by then. <laughs> this this is at least like a mini trailer. Isn't that fucked up? Like what, like a majority of fans of Red Dead Redemption Two will die before it Some comes out. Some people will be dead. They'll be Some, dead. I might die. There will be a guy who's dead. Okay, uh, but with this with the teasers again, I always bitch about this. Like there's a there's a, a marketing life cycle. Mm -hmm. That's it. 18 months or, or two years or whatever it is. So they mention the movie, they release the teaser, very calculated, they have the next step that's gonna be like the teaser two. And it sucks when, you, when you're when you trying to search for these things when you're like, oh, you gotta see this one joke, and teaser two, international teaser four. Yeah. And then yeah. there's yeah. the final theatrical. trailer. And, and the Japanese like, trailer where you yeah. take it. Oh no, you gotta the, see this one. Oh, that fuck, has I forgot a different which one it was. It's like, no, no, the Hulk like grabs Hulk's the really car. Hulk's insensitive it. to always... show a baby group before Labor Day. So, <laughs> I'm, so, it just bothers me when they do that stuff. It just called a mini trailer. Like yeah. a teaser trailer to me is what the Doctor Strange when he was walking the steps and it's like, look at this thing that has no, no yes. consequence mm -hmm. to the movie. This to but me that also least, that was a good teaser because a lot of fans were wondering whether or not they were going to show the cape, and that was a big deal. The cape with the big, what's it called, collar? Oh yeah, it's it's a collar. A, yeah, oh, that's yeah. the thing with the that's on top of the neck with the brain in it, the head. I think they're going to show his head. <laughs> you know, give him head. Yeah. <laughs> But I think with but the no, Marvel the universe, what's, why it can feel like oversaturated is because you have all of these different things. We have like 25 movies coming out at the same time. Mm -hmm. And you have pictures and covers of Entertainment Weekly and, and this trailer and 17 other million ways to market. Then it feels oversaturated. And then you're like, I don't know what to see next or what comes out first or where we are now. Okay, on the topic of oversaturation, Doctor Strange releases on November 4th. Is it really a different type of Marvel movie or is that just marketing and misdirection? What do you guys think about that? I'm, I mean, I mean, I don't. I honestly don't care about it at all. Like, don't get me wrong. I love the cast. Because uh, you're ageist. I, yes, that's exactly. <laughs> what, like, I, um, I, don't, I don't care. This is like one of those things where I'm going to be pleasantly surprised, even if it is shit, because my, I, my interest in the movie is just n nothing. I care more about the shitty, dumb teaser trailer of the movie I'm going to see 18 months from now for Guardians of the Galaxy 2 than I do for. Doctor Strange. Okay, what about your camera? Yeah, I think it's both. I think it's a combination of both. Like, again, I didn't really, I've been with Steven, I don't know much about it, I didn't really care. Then I heard the score, and that kind of changed my mind. It's the 70s okay. psychedelic, and that made me think, But it's okay, like 70s maybe. psychedelic light. It's like yeah, just I enough, and it's, it's very appropriate. When they say, and, and we talked about this earlier, Phil, what are your feelings about that? My thought is, 
is uh, so they they release like the post credits or the, yeah, the, the final song, was. and I think it was like Gizmodo or some fucking gawker was like, "Yo, this sounds like it was from another dimension." I'm yeah, like, are you are you a Whoa. fucking they asshole? They drop some like no, it like, like no, it sounds, yeah, it sounds like <laughs> a I mean song. personification to the nth degree. Yeah, they were I mean like, it was it was a, it was the a, best song it was a ever. title, but it, that type of thing is like. It's always different because every Marvel song is dun, 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 and as you sit there and you're like, I have to pee, you show the post-roll thing at the end so I can talk to my friends about fucking the Noid or Howard the Duck or whatever they're going to put, shawarma, <laughs> like whatever fucking shit fucking you're going to sit there. The Noid having shawarma with now. the dot and seven up. Yeah, I, went with, I went with my girl and, a, and another a friend who, who isn't really into um, Marvel movies for Avengers, and I already saw it. I'm like, you've got to stick around for this scene. They yeah. sat through. I had two women look at me like, you you are a fucking idiot, child. Like you, we sat here for 19 minutes through the C unit on, of, of Cleveland on this movie to fucking watch them fake each Every, The country of yeah. India that rotoscoped it. And it just, yeah, it just goes it goes through. Everyone but, in India, thank you. But that that to me, like it's such hyperbole about that song, and and I don't know if it's gonna if it's indicative that it's gonna be like a crazy different movie. But we we cut shameless plug for we cut a, a mashup of. Doctor Stranger Things, yeah, Stranger Things yeah. and Doctor Strange, and ha ha, get it? And we combed over that Doctor, every Doctor Strange trailer and piece mm. and featurette and all this stuff. And yeah. I kind of feel like I've seen the movie. And I know that I'm, I'm in the minority, but it's like you watch, it's like, okay, there's a bunch of Inception stuff, there's a bunch of Matrix stuff. Mm. Those aren't my original thoughts. That's what everybody said when it first came out. But yeah. I don't know what sort of mind-blowing things spinning that are going to be there. And and it because I feel I feel I do feel like I have superhero fatigue in a way that like you ever been eating a bag of Doritos and you get halfway through and they don't taste like anything anymore <laughs> but you know at one point they were delicious that's what Marvel food movies metaphor. are like it's a food metaphor yeah the greatest yeah. metaphor no I've but ever I, I want to go back to that. I think you know they are trying to it's a, it's a complaint we have about everything Disney's doing because Disney can give you a really nice well put together piece of movie that you can go see and you don't have to think too hard and everything looks right. But now we're starting to hear slow criticisms building about how, you know, they're playing the Marvel universe, and you, you hear directors complain that it's a it's a factory, and that you can't you can't put your stamp on it, you can't have your directorial vision come through because they need certain boxes checked. And uh, you know, the Edgar Wright incident where Ant Man was supposed to be this kind of weird, nerdy version of the, the Scott character, type. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, take exactly. on it, yeah, and then like. Kevin Faye yogurt was all like, whoa, hold up. <laughs> I think it was still a good movie despite that. I just think, yeah, it's with Disney behind them, it's become a different animal entirely. Not necessarily a bad one, but it, it goes without saying that you can just have a good movie. Not every movie has mm -hmm. to be the greatest movie you've ever seen. It can just be enjoyable. I think it's but actually, then what happens when, but when you're putting that much money up and you have those bigs of teams working on them, we said it before on the show, it's never going to be bad. It's impossible. It's not like you're going to be there. They're, they're going to watch an action sequence and a committee's going to say, cut this out or add this. And then they're going to go back to the drawing board. There and won't be a shaky scene. camera or no. a flub line. They will, they will fly Paul Rudd back out for seven days. Yeah, they will build yeah. a set. Something. They will spend yeah. $150,000 for a pickup. They can do whatever, yeah, they, can do whatever exactly. they want. Like a, but does it mean it's good? Is it quality entertainment? Is it, I, I, I always dare people, I'm like, rewatch a Marvel movie and see how far you get into it before you start checking your phone or yeah. just turn it off. It's really difficult. Uh, Avengers is a really good example. I love me some Joss Whedon. He's fantastic. I feel like the Avengers, Avengers 2 specifically. Avengers 2, uh, I've watched that movie actually a handful of times because it's just been on in the background. And I'm not, I'm, but I'm doing other things. There's not a single there's, memorable there's, moment no, in that movie. No, there's just uh, nothing that really it was resonates. The, it was the Lifetime movie of like, yeah, the, it, the it, farmhouse. It, I mean, like, that's it's something like, yo, put yo. on HBO. Avengers on the Lifetime movie part where they go to the thing and they put the Instagram filter. Yep. Yeah, okay. And then you yeah. just hang yeah. out. They were like, we it's need something terrible. for girlfriends. We need a scene for girlfriends, yeah. and that's it. They're and how did they, they made Hawkeye yeah. more interesting than like anybody else? I think that was their true accomplishment. They were, Jeremy Renner's that. like, mm, yes. yes, I got it. It's because yes. Jeremy Renner complained about the first movie. About the, he was like, yeah, you know, dude, I signed on, and that's the shitty thing about signing on. Well, there's no script. You don't know what you're signing on for. So, you're Hawkeye. You're I a know. powerless dude I with know. a bow and arrow in a world with a Hulk and a thunder god. What did you think was going to happen? Which made me yeah. so happy. How many tumble salts can you do? 
Side so tumble many. salt. Shoot an arrow. I'm out of arrows. I'm yeah. out of arrows. I don't know. I'm a, actually, that was my favorite part He has 185,000 yeah. arrows in there. It's, what's, what's, what's well, I mean, they had to make him a bad guy in the first movie to make him yeah. fucking like, have consequences yes. to it. Like, right out the gate, Silly. three minutes in, like, you're a bad guy. All the Hulk has to you're not an Avenger anymore. Sudden. The Hulk just has to pinch his arm really hard and give him a blood clot and he'll die. He just <laughs> a little pinch right here and dies. Sorry, Hawkeye, you lost. Yep. Can't tumble salt away from that now, can you? <laughs> tumble salt, side tumble salt. Hide behind a car, shoot an arrow. Okay, no, but I, I will say that um, the phase two of Marvel was supposed to be a darker, more dire situation, and I got none of that. Empire We're talking Strikes about Back. Empire Strikes Back of the Marvel be. Universe. Yep. And you have, from Winter Soldier to Civil War, not a motherfucker died in that whole, mm -mm. they fought robots and aliens and creatures, and they had a war with each other where no one died. Mm -hmm. Is it war if no one dies? No. Mm. Skirmish. I, I feel like it was. I feel like it's, it's, it's fucking it's WWE tussle. Tussle. is what it's it is. The, the old trope of, of I think on on like Nintendo games and and in the 16-bit era, if they made them robots, they didn't have to like up the rating on that yep. because if there's yeah. no blood. It's that like that's it. oil or like they have to. That do was some Avengers. Shit like that. The aliens. And it's like we kill aliens. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Aliens yeah. are fine. Robots are and they fine. were a hive Meanwhile, mind. Meanwhile, the alien race yeah. is like dying <laughs> by the droves. And they, they, they shot a nuke into an alien aliens, race. They, they all stand in menace. They just like stopped when like the mothership just. Yeah. Yeah. Mess. And the hive was. mind like argument, yeah. like oh they're a hive mind. I'm like please stop your. And I feel like you've missed the fucking boat. But spoiler alert on Civil War, go change the channel to porn or something. But when <laughs> no that tab's when, open. Just <laughs> yeah, when, open. when war, yeah just click it over. Click in hand. When when War Machine gets paralyzed. I got sticky stuff right? on the mouse. The, the stakes are so low with him getting hurt that he already is in a suit that gives him superpowers and can make his legs work. Dude, it's So that's like, even, yeah. it, it doesn't even, it doesn't matter. And like, come it's on. And then you kill a guy that we never like really cared about. Oh, Quicksilver? You yeah, mean the dude like, that was a villain for half the movie? Yeah. And then, and they think like really that's the thing. The yeah, death, the big death and like like no, we don't. Wait, really are we back on Suicide about. Squad about the guy? We're not. We're not. <laughs> sorry, it's mixed. I mixed up. You're just pointing your finger. I mixed up. You mean the, the crocodile thing with the guy. that died? Yeah. Spoiler alert. What? Did he die? Yeah, he died. No, it wasn't the crocodile. No. Oh. The crocodile fucking died. No, it was the fire guy. Didn't the crocodile die because he put the thing up and then he's like, all right, peace, or did he like leave? No, it was the fire. The fire. Weird shit. Weird skull fire. It was the fire guy. Thor Ragnarok director Taika Waititi just stated the movie will be the craziest Marvel film yet, and Bruce Banner steals the show. What do we make of that, gang? I don't give a shit about Thor, so that would be really awesome. That's to... rude. Okay. Have you ever seen Chris Hemsworth in Ghostbusters? No one has. I've never. No one. No has, one knows. No, no one. No one. He's did. really funny. I heard. No. I was. I was so excited for Black Hat, and he let me down there too. Yeah. He's handsome. I will say that. But that being said, Thor is like the kind of character that they're like, well, it's kind of like our Superman, right? Does anyone care? I've no. never cared about Thor. I didn't like any of the movies. He's the, the first least Thor was fun. interesting of, of the Avengers. He's only interesting when he's allowed to play next to Captain America. I mean, the, the best part of the Avengers 2 was when they're trying to pick up his hammer, hammer, and then and that's not even him. That's yeah, normal, normal and then you see his yeah. face right. kind of panic no, no. for that split second. Yeah. that was like the best part of that was the most. That's the thing I remember. I kind of <laughs> want to be a contrarian cunt, but they made all my points. Okay, I'll be in the car. I like the first Thor. I thought it was very Masters of the Universe. Coop and I like that about it. No, Coop doesn't like it. Um, <laughs> he likes Masters of the Universe. He's spinning a gun. No, um, no. How dare you? I thought there was a lot of funny of moments in it. I thought. Thor the Dark World was a, a real stretch, a real issue for me. I don't remember that movie at all, and I remember everything. I mean, it's a, you know, they say a hero is only as good, as good as its villains, and Marvel villains are the worst. They yeah. are the worst. They're, they're just, I mean, in Thor the Dark World, well, wait, no, who, Loki who is, doesn't count. Wait, Loki doesn't count. Who, is, who is the villain? He's not really anxiety. a villain. Anxiety. He's yeah, half villain, true. half Crippling yeah. anxiety, and then there was like high blood pressure. <laughs> and No, but who is, who's, the, the, who's the director of Thor, uh, the new one? Um, <laughs> Waikiki, uh, Waikiki, Taiko I believe. Okay. Watiti? Taiko Watiti. I Taiko, think when he's like, this is going to be the craziest, mar the craziest marble, that's like, I'm like, dude, I'm going to have the most insane party this weekend. Like, <laughs> what? What? Are you going to fucking go back in time? Is your bathtub going to fucking have blood coming out of it? Like, what about what your party means, is going to be different than every other fucking party I've been to? And that's, that's how I feel about this. Like, what, well, what are you going to do? When he says it's going to be the craziest movie, you're like, okay, whatever. And then he's like, Bruce Banner steals the show. Like, dog, your title character doesn't is, steal the show? Like, great that, job, that's man. 
nailed it. it. Like, you cannot have the craziest Marvel movie ever because it's about Thor, and nobody likes it. Okay, so Avengers Earth's craziest tax season Avengers ever. Earth's Mightiest Heroes, the cartoon, was the best depiction of Thor, and it was really funny because yes. he was all Shakespearean in the real world. And that was actually the best part of Avengers. Yeah. Where it's when he gets uh, Shakespeare in the park, like that was the best part. Yeah, that's like that's when he when he like lives up to that kind of very weird as guardian like old timey yeah. speak. I think it's funny, but then you can only go so far with that. Yeah, exactly. This drink, I like it. The show, I <laughs> Another. like it. Another. <laughs> I would Another. Do that one. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Overall, there's a lot more hype for Phase Three than anything else. How much do you buy, and how much is just savvy marketing for are, Phase Three? Are we gonna keep that tape? I'm posing. Yeah. <laughs> that's we don't. That's all we have in the budget. For. We shoot on dead. actual film here. There's some. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Click. It was a Nick. bold choice early on. Click. <laughs> I like the movies. I'm always gonna go see them. Mostly with you. We see, ev we see we've seen every oh. movie together for the last. You guys are siblings, right? Yes. And basically. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and, but yes, it's mostly savvy marketing. I mean, it's mostly because only a few of the last films, especially in Phase Two, like we were talking about, I really thought Ant Man was the only one that I really was like, oh, I can get on board with that. That was a nice. They all kind of fell short for me. Here, here's the thing. Uh, I feel like the, the Marvel movies are infinitely better than DC movies. I will say that. But I also I feel like it, like I have highs and lows with it. It's like a, it's like a really bad relationship that I have with a, it's like an unhealthy relationship. Um, because I'm not gonna not go see these movies. I'm yeah, gonna see these movies. It's hard not to not see I'm gonna, these movies. I was like, it's like, well, what am, I, what am I doing this fucking weekend? Well, that new Marvel movie's out. I'm definitely not gonna see that. I'm not gonna say that. I'm a, Fucking go to the theater. Of course I am. Yeah. But uh, and so in that sense, savvy marketing still applies, kind of, but not really. I'm gonna see the movies regardless because I'm a fucking schlup. So. That's the same way I feel uh, about meth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you said Matt. Matt. I was Matt. gonna come in with an actual story, but I don't. Know, I can't. T All right, Bill. What do you that. think? No, really. Like I, mean, I didn't see um, uh, Winter Soldier or Avengers Two in the theater, and when those hit uh, the like the HBO or whatever fucking premium channel, I got. I sat down. I was like. Hooey! Like, like it was late. I was uh, put it on, and like 40 minutes in, Your it was premium what you, channel of it, choice. It was, it was what you were talking about. I was fucking like on my phone. Yeah. I was like, no, like you, you are a giant thing, and and you should entertain me when I want to be entertained. I didn't want to come in like a hater and be like, oh, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna put this movie on blast. Both of them, I kind of was like, oh fuck. And and when you go back to the to Gen two or Phase two or whatever. Of the, of the Marvel movies, it's almost like when someone tells you to go back and play a PlayStation 1 game. Like, dude, you gotta go play Metal Gear Solid. You gotta go back and play Uncharted but not 1. Like a really, like a, a 7. Like, you got a 7.5. No, but you PGA. go back and it's just sort of like, hey man, like, the, the, the colors aren't as bright and the, the, the ensemble cast is But the story, an though, and you're like, what do you mean? The weird you, box people that about? were like, beep, beep, beep. All right, guys, I hate to do this to you, but it's last call, final round. I agree with you, Phil, on that one. Are you buying or selling Marvel on the small screen? Uh, Daredevil, Daredevil is hands down one of my favorite shows. Nice. Uh, I fucking love it. I actually like the character of the Punisher more than uh, than Daredevil, especially second season. But the camera work in that show, the stunt work, it's great. The last part of the second season, not so much about. But that Agent Carter, fucking great. I love it. I like the Netflix stuff. I think it's darker and grittier. Jessica Jones, Luke Cage. Um, Agents of Shield, Agent that Carter. I don't know. The Agent Carter short film they did was really neat. Yeah. The TV show, not really my cup of tea. Yeah. Agents of Shield, I don't. No. A friend of mine writes on that show, and I'm like, "Why is your show so brightly lit? It's a spy show." Thank and he's you. like, "Because it's ABC, and they yeah. demand that we light our sets." So brightly. is that why? Because that's every, why. Every that's single why. Time I it's watch a spy show. show I'm like, why does there ain't like a fucking shadow to be found? I'm like, yeah. where is? It's their spy. It looks like fucking private our... practice. Oh, guys, uh, rest assured, Colby Smolder will be in Avengers: Infinity War for that one scene where she runs away and calls Nick Fury and then dives and, and does a tumble salt. Okay, good yes. to know. Okay. How I met your mother. Jesus, no I was missing the, okay. the tumble song. Yeah, I was missing. Mother. She borrowed that from Hawkeye. I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of bummed because the, obviously the, the ABC stuff is, is, is trash. Like, I really tried. Like, I was like, oh, I, it could be anything. It could be any show. It could be called, like, Flashpoint Explosion Town or there's a flying ship with some sh fucking shit you don't care about. Whoa. It's fake. It seems, it seems fake. It's like um, when you order, like, 
it's everything but what you want. And all you want are really cool people doing really cool stuff, and there's not enough budget there for the effects. I almost wish what they would do with Netflix, and again, I don't know exactly what Netflix engagement and, and, and watch time and all that bullshit is, but if they made a Daredevil movie instead of a 10 yeah. episode series, yeah. then so, it was like you could have all this crazy shit happen and you wouldn't always have to have the mundane day to day because I don't necessarily want 10 yeah. episodes. Well, one of the things, like that's that's my problem with it is I wish it was five, a five episode like kind of mini series yeah. where they were super Definitely. strong episodes. Because every now and then- I would take that too. They, yeah. drop, a, that they drop a, a few episodes in oh there that God. are like, how to get away with murder. Foggy like, lost his keys. Why are you uh, calling the DMV in this episode? Yeah. Yeah. That's all the time we have for today. Let's recap what we've learned. Stephen Ford loves him some baby Groot, but what does he know? He thought the crocodile guy died in Suicide Squad. <laughs> Joke's on you, Steven. The crocodile guy's name is Paul Hogan, and he's alive and well. Fuck that movie. R.I.P. Steve Irwin. One love. <laughs> Cameron Grimes had some good notes from Marvel Studios, but her opinion's a little suspect. After all, she admits to going to the movies with Stephen Ford. P.H. D. Unfortunate. Bill Arrigo hates every movie, teaser, trailer, and TV spot he's ever seen. Having said that, be sure to check out the trailer mashup he did for our channel called Doctor Stranger Things. Obviously, had a lot of love put into it. Live by the sword, die by heart attack probably in two to three years, you know? That's what they say. He is from Buffalo. As for me, Nick Gregorio, for those of you keeping score at home, I finally was able to combine high and low brow into one single Spacebar episode, covering both Masters of the Universe as well as important questions like, is it war if no one dies? We lost a lot of good CGI soldiers that day. Sorry guys, that's all the time we have. Be sure to stick around for the post credit scene. Bottoms up, asses out, the space bar is closed. I do have a question though. If it's highbrow and lowbrow, do they wax both? <laughs> or do they just do the Brazilian? They just call it cleaning it up. Just clean it up. How all long right? did you okay. have that in your pocket? Yeah. Be from, I wrote it three years ago. Okay. Before I ever <laughs> showed it in this building. Oh my God, what's this? It's a black olive. <laughs>